Hello and welcome to Be Abundant Now, where evolution is the new revolution. Uh, some of the energies that are present today is one of seeking knowledge, of wanting to learn more about astronomy, astrology. This is a time of philosophy and the sciences to excel. So if you're taking an interest, you, you are being divinely guided. Uh, this is also a time of divine protection. We are in a period of illumination, a period of clarity, of truth, of great insight. It is a very beautiful season. We are bringing in more and more of this golden ray of Christ consciousness. So I'm going to go ahead and get into you know today's daily read with some of the cards uh, that I have. I have like six messages today. And so this, uh, I've drawn this one, this is a, a major arcana energy that is present today. And we have the emperor. So the emperor is, um, is, represents Aries, or a fire sign, but generally Aries seated in his power. Uh, this also represents institutions. Uh, this can re represent um, court cases, law. And um, so, and this is all about uh, structure and power structures. So we'll see how the rest of this relates uh, to that, but that is the overall message. So we'll see where we go with this. This is an Archangel Oracle message, and it's letting you know that everything is all well. Everything is happening exactly, exactly how it is supposed to be. Everything is in divine order. And it's saying everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to with hidden blessings that you soon understand. So any experience that you're having right now, just know that... Uh, this is this is exactly the way it is supposed to be. Everything is perfect, exactly as it is right now, and every the universe and our knowledge is always expanding when we open ourselves up to it. So that's the message I'm getting today. This is really beautiful. I love all of the purple. Uh, purple is a very um, prominent color right now because we are ushering in. Uh, I always uh, associate the color purple with the violet flame of St. Germain. This is God's mercy, freedom, and forgiveness. And it's, a, it's an energy of transmutation. So there's all this beautiful purple energy in here. And look at how he's swirling around this golden ray of Christ consciousness embedded in the spiritual truth. This is like indigo. It has like an indigo background. Uh, with this blue background so this is really beautiful letting you know that everything is well and just know that you are being divinely protected I drew this card from the nature's whispers because yep right now we are in a potential gateway uh, gateway uh, right now uh, this is uh, represented by uh, this potential gateway is uh, represented by the by this Cancerian energy that is here this month. This is a uh, the gate. I believe that this is more of this energy that is being birthed as this compassion, mothering, um, earthly energy that is coming in. And you can see there's like all of these. There's couples. There's love. This is all about a celebration with family and friends, lovers. Um, just getting connected to to the heavens and to the earth to the earth There's unicorns on here, which to me represents serendipity uh, Lot there's three unicorns and there is there's this beautiful gateway that we're all crossing into right now We're in a process of ascension So if that resonates that message is for you we are uh, evolving into higher beings into our own authenticity we're stepping into our own sovereignty. And that's just the way it is supposed to be. Uh, this is the message from the Power of Surrender deck. And it is saying, surrender your fear of change. And that really does go with this. And it's saying the universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of change in your job, your health, or your relationship, or if you fear aging or death, Repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. That goes with this. All is well is coming out twice. And one thing that I will share with you when I see, when I, you know, something just resonated um, uh, uh, in relation to our health. Um, science has just now released some studies that the way we perceive ourselves, the way we talk to ourselves, the way we look at ourselves, what we say to ourselves, 
really has impacts our outer experience. Uh, what they thought was junk DNA really turns out that it's our own internal healing system. So when we speak and choose to speak blessings over our own lives and our own existence, things start to happen. Um, you can do this every day just by giving yourself a pep talk, talking in the present tense, you know, and this is just, you know, saying all these loving affirmations to yourself, you know, I love myself. I know that I am infinitely loved. Um, I have, I'm an infinite being with unlimited potential. I am healthy, wealthy, and wise. I have extreme health. I am, you know, beautiful. I am talented. I am creative. Um, I am blessed with many divine gifts. Uh, you know, um, I live a life of abundance. Having these, this type of self-talk and dialogue will begin to manifest itself into your outer experience. So that was one of the messages that I really want to share uh, with you today. I cannot stress enough the importance of self-love. Uh, and letting go, letting go of all fear, and that's what it's saying, letting go of fear and embracing love. The more we let go of fear and we embrace love, our experience changes. And we are able to step into our own um, authenticity, our own sovereignty. Now, this is a um, message from the Power Wisdom deck. And uh, I look at this as like, there's a, a medicine wheel here. You can see it, and this is a very, um, I know that this symbol represents native, some sort of native, um, native culture. I've seen this symbol before. I've never really delved right into it, but I do, I do recognize the medicine wheel. And we are in this uh, rainbow prophecy where, the, where we are mending that hoop. All of us bringing our medicine, you know, our healing uh, together. Uh, to form this unity, to return to this state of oneness, one tribe and one code. Uh, but we're all intricate and we, we come from many places, you know. Uh, and so, but this, this is the mending of, I'm reading this as the mending of the hoop here. And look, even with this, all this grounded earthly energy, uh, the rocks know all the secrets. That is the oldest being on this planet is a rock. It has seen everything. I believe that they're known as the watchers. And this is a lotus flower. So even in the most, you know, difficult places and places that, that can really represent some hardships, you can find beauty. And what I like about this, um, I noticed, and I know that it's part of the flower, but when you look at it, it looks like there's a, like there may be a coin sitting on top of that lotus. And to me, this is speaking about things unfolding, even in the harshest harshness of conditions, that there is life and there is love, and it is always blooming when we choose to notice it and let, and let us know that everyone is bringing their own healing medicine to this place where we can all appreciate the beauty that is in each and every one of us, because this is part of divine plan. So... I'm going to go ahead and read the back of it because look, it is saying destiny. That is a, the ability to look beyond all that looks harsh and, you know, difficult terrain. Some of us have really went through some difficult terrain to get to this place and find our own inner beauty within ourselves. Because once we discover that, we're able to share it with others. So one thing I really love, this is the number 39. Three to me represents building. This is the uh, number of the master builders. Uh, it also represents the Holy Trinity. Nine is the number of all creation. This is the alpha and the omega of numbers. And I often refer, refer to it as the, as the God number. So this is destiny. This is fate. Right now in this time, it's all about wish fulfillment. It is all about... Um, it is all about karmic cycles. Um, anything that in soul contracts that is very important at this time so I'm going to go ahead and read this card now uh, this one is represented by the East and the color yellow and it's saying your active power is key to your destiny like a sacred flute player enticing your truth of spirit out into the light of day you own your power because you are made of power at, an act of power comes from a place of passion 
within your deepest being. It is an expression of your totality, of who you are in the world. To find your active power is to live your dreams. What would you do if you could do anything? What, discover what that is and then do it. To find your power is to find your destiny. And that's why I really enjoy sharing my message because this is, as I step into my own truth, my own power, my own authenticity, I'm giving others per permission to do the same. We are all students and we are all teachers on this journey. So I'm very thankful. This is a very a, a beautiful message and it really speaks to me. And it is, it's all about discovering our own power. And that is really um, what the whole um, summer season is about. It's about following that path of illumination. So we have that and I have one last message from Postcards from the Spirit and it's saying, you are love. This is that little message. Now I'm going to read this and it's saying, dearest you, do you ever wonder whether your ideas and inspiration might be coming through your soul rather than generated from your mind alone? We are here to tell you we are always whispering in your ear about your highest good. We are conduits for spirit, letting you know you are a living channel for this awesome co-creative energy. When you're feeling inspired, it means you heard us. Inspiration means spirit is breathing through you. Inspiration needs your human passion to keep it going so you can make a difference in this world. So keep moving on what inspires you. Let yourself be led into new experiences and know that this is why you are here on earth. Your purpose is to discover your spirited nature and to bring forth through your efforts whatever is meant to be. Wondrous miracles have a way of showing up when you let inspiration propel you forward and you are so loved. This is a beautiful closing message. Yes, we are, none of us are here to blend. We're each a very different perspective of the divinity that exists in all of us and in all things, in all of creation, in that number nine, that creation of life. So, and as I express myself, it will give other people the permission to do the same because I have been inspired. Inspired means in its root form, uh, in spirit. So when we are inspired or we inspire, that means that we are communicating on a very high level. We are communicating in the spirit's, spiritual sense. So in my life, I hope to inspire as much as I have been inspired on this journey. So thank you very much. I'm very thankful to be in this space, to be able to share this beautiful day and this beauty, beautiful message with you. So Thank you, and until next time, have a magnificent, magical, amazing day. Take care.